When human beings were living in shelters made of mammoth bones and the earth was transitioning out of the ice age, an animal called the dire wolf let out its last howl. It was never seen again until now. So I got to ask, why are you doing this? Uh, and where are these dire wolves going to live? Because wouldn't they eat everything in sight? So the dire wolves actually live on a 2,000 acre uh, secure, expansive ecological preserve in the northern part of the United States. They've got a 10 person care team. They're certified by American Humane Society, the oldest humane organization uh, in the US. And we're constantly monitoring them and studying them to understand what the long term potential for rewilding extinct species uh, could be over time. That's a very thoughtful exercise. That's not going to happen anytime soon. We're actually going to probably engineer a couple more so that we could have a perfect pack size of like five to eight. That's where a lot of wolf packs typically uh, uh, grow to. But this is incredibly important for conservation because it's forecasted that we're going to lose up to 50% of all biodiversity between now and 2050. And we know that modern conservation is fantastic. It's just not working at the speed at which we're eradicating species. So our goal with uh, a lot of our species, like our dodo project, our thylacine project, and even our woolly mammoth project is to reintroduce those species back into the wild in collaboration with indigenous people groups, private landowners, and the government. So we actually are working with uh, one very large uh, indigenous people group that would love to have dire wolves back on their sovereign land, but it's just a very long process. Just to be clear, you have no plans to bring back dinosaurs, but you know, that is potentially where it could lead, isn't it? So we get the dinosaur question all the time, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you feel, there is no dino DNA and there's also not megalodon DNA. So those died off way too long ago. Right now, the oldest DNA we use is about 1.2 million years old, which is some of our mammoth and our step mammoth DNA. So don't worry about dinosaurs. It's not possible to bring back dino DNA that went extinct 65 million years ago.